Now I'm going to show you how to calculate the expected return of a stock. Normally when we invest in a stock, we expect that two types of returns may come up. One is the capital gain and another one is the dividend. So the dividend and capital gain depend on the future scenarios. We may have different endless scenarios in the future, but for our example purpose, we are going to analyze three possible scenarios. So we are assessing uh, what are the possible scenarios that may happen in the future and what are the probabilities of each scenario. So in this example, you can see that in year one, that means in the future year, we have predicted that three possible scenarios are possible. Uh, one is the normal scenario, another one is the adverse or bad scenario, another one is the good scenario. Uh, this is optimistic expectation. Uh, okay, now um, think about the possibility, the probability of having, of encountering the uh, bad scenario or the normal scenario or good scenario. So we have uh, actually estimated the probability of each of these three scenarios. So we can see that the probability that normal scenario will happen is 60%. Good probability of the good scenario is 10% and the probability of the bad scenario is 30%. So the total will be will always be 100%. You can say 60 plus 30 plus 10 is 100%. Now, in each of these three scenarios, we have to predict the price, the future price, the price at the end of year one. Okay, so we have predicted that at the end of year one, we, we may have either $110 or $130 or $162 depending on the scenario. And also the dividend will depend uh, on the scenario. So we can expect that it will be either $2 or $10 or $20 depending on which scenario becomes true. So these are the information we have. So the current stock price in year zero is 125. So given this condition, how can we calculate the expected return? The expected return. That is the, uh, that is the matter of discussion in this video. So let me delete, you know, the delete the uh, calculations that has already been done and do it again so that you can understand. How can we calculate the percentage return of each scenario? Let us start with the first scenario. The percentage return essentially is the, uh, the return from capital gain and the return from dividend divided by cost times 100%. So we, what we can use, we can use the Excel formula to do that. Uh, let us use the bracket at first, uh, two brackets because we will have to divide the whole term. So the capital gain will be the price at the end of year one minus the price in year zero. That means the cost uh, if you purchase the stock now. And we have to lock this uh, uh, price because we, we, we are planning to copy the formula in the adjacent cells. So we don't want the price in year zero to be uh, changed because it, it, it is always 125 no matter what scenario happen in year one. Okay, this is the capital gain. Plus, we also have a dividend if the first scenario happens, which is $2. Okay, now let us close the bracket and we have to divide it by the original cost. And again, we don't want it to be changed, so we have to lock it. Okay, now if we press enter, we get minus 10.40% for bad scenario. Now, if we just copy the formula, okay, if we, if, if we just uh, copy the formula, then we get that we may have 12% in normal scenario and 45.60% in good scenario. Let us check the formula in good scenario so that we don't have any mistake. E5 minus B5. Okay, you can see E5 is the price if good scenario happens minus B5 is the uh, B5 is the cost price in year zero uh, plus E6 is the dividend if good scenario happens in year one, okay, E6, uh, and the whole is divided by, again, B5. So the calculation is correct. Now, the next step is to calculate the probability weighted return. That means we have to multiply 
the return of each scenario with the probability of that scenario so it will be the return of the first scenario times the return the probability of that scenario to happen okay now we press enter and also we also copy the formula in the adjacent cells and fill without formatting because we have already defined the formatting now we have got the probability weighted return now only one thing we need to do is we have to sum the probability weighted return so it will be equal to sum sum and these three probability weighted returns and we get 8.64 percent the expected return of this stock okay let me show you the formulas so that you can understand what has been done in the calculation okay um, for greater visibility let me reduce the column width probably now you can see not really yeah now you can see so now you can see what are the uh, calculation formulas probably you can pause the video and keep note of the formula okay thank you very much i hope that you have understood how to calculate the expected return of a particular stock if we know the probability distribution of that stock